If it's about the Detroit Lions, then we have to talk about it. And that is a landing spot for defensive tackle Chris Jones. Now, before you click away from this video, I am going to share my thoughts on if I think Chris Jones is a good fit for the Detroit Lions. Now, I have made videos about defensive tackles all offseason long, and every last one of them have been locked up in some shape or another from Deron Payne to Jeffrey Simmons. The list goes on and on and on. Every single big name, game-changing defensive tackle has been locked up. And the Detroit Lions could use a defensive tackle like that from Aaron Donald. I mean, we got Broderick Martin in the third round. We have John Kaminsky. We have those type of guys. But when if it's about our team, I'm going to talk about it no matter how likely it seems. My job on here is to give you my thoughts and whether I think it's a good fit or even it makes sense and what level of sense it makes. But according to Bleacher Report, Bleacher Report has the Detroit Lions as a potential landing spot if Chris Jones was to be traded. Here's what they had to say. Said Jones would change that immediately, talking about the middle there, which might even be worth a first-round pick for a team that would have the talent to ensure that selection comes near the bottom of the first round, meaning the Detroit Lions picking at the end of the first round. Having an extra third rounder next year at least softens the blow for a little bit. And then he talks about the cap space. One of eight teams with the cap space to sign Chris Jones. Now, let's take a look at what's going on with Chris Jones. Chris Jones, we already went over his stats. 15.5 tackles. The dude is a game wrecker, a game changer. And he wants his money. He's on the last year of his deal at 29 years old. He is, let me see where, where he's at now. Let's see where he is at for the 2023 season. Now, here's the deal. Right now, as the ads are annoyingly everywhere, right now, his base salary is $3.75 million. Roster bonus, I'm assuming that he is, of $18 million, workout of half a million dollars, restructured $7 million, okay? The dead cap for Chris Jones is $36 million. The cap hit is $29. Yearly cash, $23.6 million, okay? That is his, from a money, what he's, what he's owed this year. Now, if we go to his market value, his market value, okay, as soon as this thing updates here, should have been doing that already. He's already on the do not, did not report list. He has, his market value is $32 million, $32 million. He will be a free agent, if you can see, next year. So he's on the last year of his deal, as I said, said earlier, $32 million. He would be the highest paid defensive tackle in the league if he was to get this deal, all right? $32 million. Now, I saw a report saying that he's not trying to overtake Aaron Donald, but he wants to come close. Maybe, I, I think I saw something like a three-year, $84 million or something like that. Is, and I think Aaron Donald got three years, 90-something million. If I'm not mistaken, Aaron Donald is still the highest paid defensive tackle in the league, even over the age of 31. Okay, so during the offseason, all we saw was defensive tackle after defensive tackle after defensive tackle trying to outdo one another. That's what the NFL has become. We saw it with the quarterbacks, same way, all right? That's what this is. So now Chris Jones doesn't want to be the highest paid he wants to be up there, though, right? So here's my thoughts on Bleacher Reports saying that the Detroit Lions would be a, an ideal fit for Chris Jones. The only way, the only thing that the Detroit Lions and Chris Jones have in common is the Detroit Lions play the team he's on. In my opinion, he will not be ever a Detroit Lion. Here's why I say that. Now, you might be like, well, he makes a difference, Derek. 
you want a defensive tackle. You've been screaming about one all year, and that's true. However, the Detroit Lions, there, there is a pattern that our team follows. One of them is not overpaying for high price players, right? Or what we would say overpaying, or maybe, maybe not even overpaying. Maybe these guys are worth every penny, all right? And I, I do believe that Jeffrey Simmons, all these guys, even Chris Jones, worth every penny, right? But the fan base might say we're overpaying, so that's why overpaying, that's why I use that word. Here's the bottom line as to why I don't think Chris Jones will ever be a Detroit Lion. We don't, there are no turds on this team. Chris Jones is currently holding out. We are not going to trade for a player. We're not going to sign a player in free agency who holds out. That's just not going to happen. There are patterns that our team follows, and one of them is getting Dan Campbell type of guys. These are guys who do not hold out, who do not elevate themselves above the team. It's just fact. That's how that is. I said it in the draft leading up to Aiden Hutchinson last year when it came down between Hutchinson or Kayvon Thibodeau. Who would it be? Kayvon Thibodeau was never going to be a Detroit Lion. You can look at me in the comment section, comment all you want. I said that the Detroit Lions were not going to draft Jalen Carter. Never, never, ever wavered. You know why? Because he is not a Dan Campbell type of guy. Brad Holmes said it the other day. We're getting, we're, we're not so much as getting talent. We're getting football players. We're getting our guys. This guy, as good as he is, holding out is not something that we're looking for on our team. That's just not. Now, if we talk about Mike Evans, that's a different story. Mike Evans is the opposite of Chris Jones as he is supremely un unselfish, right? That is a guy that will fit on our team. So I just saw these, and I know I come up with some videos. I do. This is Detroit line. This is what we do, right? We talk about the good, the bad, the ugly, the logical, the illogical, the possible, the impossible. That's what we do on this platform. But this here, the Detroit Lions are not, as, as much as I want a game wrecker on my team, a guy that is going to elevate himself above the rest of the team by holding out is not something that we want on our team. We're not going to welcome a guy like that. We're not going to make that individual our problem. Not only, we're not even talking about the money, right? So those are my thoughts on Chris Jones and the Bleacher Report about how, and this is why, this is why we exist in this space, because although y'all might not like some of my takes, which is fine, I am a fan of this team. I know this team. I know, meaning I know them better than someone else, a, a person who has no idea what they're talking about. We are not going to trade for Chris Jones. He is not a Dan Campbell type of guy. So I would love to know your thoughts in the comments below. Now, us facing him, he can sit out as long as he wants, because I don't want to see that fool, but... He's also not going to be on our team because he just doesn't fit. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself and each other. And as always, go Lions.